Yeah, that's all. That's all right. But hey, okay, there we go. Okay, so we are talking about uh, a new thing with Cloud Trail. Now, Cloud Trail, you might be saying, Kyle, what can be done with Cloud Trail? It, it does the who, what, where, when, and how of an AWS account and who's doing what uh, within our AWS environment, uh, making modifications, updates, deletions, right? Uh, yeah. But we have some folks joining us today to talk about a new feature that's really exciting. Yeah, Kyle, you know, some people, uh, it's the holiday season. Some people like to cuddle up, watch a, a nice Hallmark holiday movie. Yeah. Me, I like to cuddle up and read some audit logs. How about you? you like know, nice I, fire going, just read my know, audit I logs. I'm going to let the detective now with the new automated investigations feature that was just talked about earlier today and do the work for me. Talk to uh, other things like uh, you know, hang out, sing songs, collect adjuncts. Okay. Without further ado, friends on there and new feature. Hey, how's it going, friends? Hi, Kyle. Hi. How's it going? Going good. Into the yes, reinvent that's... rush. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the doors are going to be opening here to the expo floor in 15 minutes. That's right at 4 p.m. Right. This is going to be much more lively. It's going to be wild. Absolutely. We're here for that. <laughs> well, tell us about yourself, please, Gokul. Um, I'm Gokul Nair. I'm from CloudTrail product management team. So very excited to be here today with you all and share the latest launches that we have on CloudTrail side. Very nice. And uh, you've got a friend with you too, please. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> I'm Davin. I've been with CloudTrail about two years. I'm an SD here and I'm super excited to demo these new features today. Great to meet you both. Uh, as I was saying, I'm a big fan of audit logs. Uh, and, and it sounds like y'all are making it a little bit easier for me to find pertinent information within my my audit trail uh, through Cloud Trail. Is that right? That's absolutely right. That's why we created Cloud Trail Lake. Tell us about that. Tell us about Cloud Trail Lake. Yes. So before we go into um, Cloud Trail Lake. CloudTrail Lake, the details of it, let's understand why we created CloudTrail Lake, right? So as you know, every time your activity logs are so critical because it captures who did what and when, and it comes to security investigations or audit or even operational investigations, you need it. And even for compliance, if you see, you need to immutably store these logs for a prolonged time, like one year, seven year, depending on the compliance programs that you are undergoing, right? And many of these activity logs are quite voluminous. Like, for example, your DynamoDB or S3 access um, events. Now, if a security transactions. Exactly. And now if a security incident happens, you are literally searching for a needle in the haystack. And As someone that does that professionally, I can sympathize and fully relate. Exactly. And you know that response time is so critical when you are in that stage. So the question is, how can you get insights out of your activity logs, which is spread across not only AWS, but the hybrid environment of customers, and very quickly narrow down to that specific insight in a very easy way and also a cost-effective way. Obviously, you can always ingest these activity logs to a security monitoring management platform of yours. But if you need to keep it there for seven years, that's really going to be very costly exercise for you. So if you are a cloud compliance or a security or a operations engineers, you are really looking for a cost-effective and easy button experience to analyze and get insights out of your activity logs. And that's why we created CloudTrail Lake. So CloudTrail Lake is a managed data lake, which aggregates, immutably stores, and help you easily analyze your activity logs across the hybrid environments of yours. So AWS, your custom app, your SaaS applications, it can get all your activity logs from all of these different places. And it's an immutable data lake to be noted. So immutable basically means that once the data is ingested into CloudTrail Lake, 
users have read only access to it they cannot tamper with anything so that ensures auditing and security assurance for your stakeholders and then yeah i mean for anybody uh who's who's not like Kyle over here and um heads down in security day to day that might not be readily apparent right like uh if you are having someone intrude on your your AWS account one of the prime targets is going to be cloud trail right because it's going to how be how they cover their bases about what they're doing exactly they're going to try to disrupt the the logging of what they're doing cover up but luckily there's so many things on a fire off that that is happening but also there is always the question of is the audit data we have actually the original audit data has it been tampered with in any way shape or form um or how can we validate that data and that's where like the um cloud subtitles comes from uh, and it sounds like a cloud trail lake uh that's you know uh, non-issue yeah so immutability and uh read-only access are two very key yes. important things and the third most important thing it provides you with a native sql query engine and out of the box sample queries and some pre curated dashboards which will give you these insights right away into you without you needing to really boil the ocean so it's a complete managed end to end experience that you will be able to get and get insights out of your activity logs without needing to build any data processing pipelines or downstream workflows by itself and that's what basically makes the solution uh, really uh, valuable for our customers Oh, go cool. Um, CloudTrail Lake isn't isn't new, right? Uh, so what is new at, for reInvent with CloudTrail Lake? Yes. So we launched CloudTrail Lake in January of 2022. So it has been there for a while. But for reInvent and especially for this month, we have two exciting uh, major launches in CloudTrail Lake. First one is the availability of a new pricing option which is very much optimized for the flexible retention needs of our customers. And the second one, which is our Reinman launch, is the availability of CloudTrail Lake data for zero ETL analysis in Amazon Athena. So that's again a big one, which we are very excited to share with you today. I saw Kyle physically react to that. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited about that. You don't love ETL? You know, I would rather not have to do it. You don't you don't, you don't want to discuss ETL. No, I'm a simpleton. Uh, just <laughs> do it for me, please. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the number zero is so valuable, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, well, both of those sound very exciting, especially the ETL apparently, because you can get a physical reaction out of Kyle with that one. But uh, let's talk about the pricing a little bit. Uh, and and I see too, we're getting. A, let me know whenever you want to hop over to this demo because we do love demos uh here at aws on air but do you want to talk a little bit about how the pricing works with uh with this Absolutely. new retention pricing right so when we launched cloud trail lake um from that day we have been supporting the seven year retention pricing which basically means that any data ingested into cloud trail lake will be eligible for a retention of up to seven years at no additional charges. So you pay for the lake ingestion charges and you can have a data retention of seven years included with that ingestion pricing. Now, the there are several customer use cases where the retention periods the customers need are much lower. For example, PCI compliance, you need only one year of retention. Or if you're talking about the New, New York CRR regulations for financial institutions, it's three years mandate. So customers have been asking us for a pricing option, which is optimized for the flexible retention needs. And that's why we created the new uh, one year exchangeable retention pricing. As the name suggests, it comes with the first year of retention included at no additional charges with the lake ingestion. And you also can extend the retention all the way up to 10 years by paying and exchange your retention charges post the first year. And this new pricing option is very valuable for you, especially if you are new to CloudTrail Lake or if your monthly lake ingestion usage is under 25 terabytes. Basically, you will get cost savings of up to 80% compared to the seven year retention pricing if you are under that 25 terabytes uh, category. 
at the same time, the seven-year retention pricing, that is really um, beneficial for you as a customer. If you are consistent monthly ingestion usage is upwards of uh, 25 terabytes because it comes with a beautiful volume tier based pricing. So you can't beat it at that higher volume levels. So for larger scale customers, that would be a very attractive option. But if you are new to Lake or uh, in under the 25 terabytes monthly usage level, you would really love from the cost savings coming with the one year exchangeable retention pricing option. All right. Um, now, I just want to make sure we have plenty of time for the demo because mm -hmm. I think people are going to want to see this. I know we've got, we still got to talk the zero ETL, but maybe we should uh, pivot a little bit over and, and see some of this stuff in action. What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so to get started with CloudTrail Lake, the first thing that you need to do is to create an event data store. So event data store is where you specify what activity logs you want to um, immutably store and um, how long you want to retain them for your use cases. So let's start with creating an event data store. So in my setup, I do have a few event data stores created, but let me just walk you through the workflow. So AWS on air is a name I'm giving for this event data store. As I mentioned, the first choice you need to make is the pricing option. So as I explained before, if you are new to CloudTrail Lake or under 25 terabytes of monthly ingestion usage, we recommend you to go with the one-year exchangeable retention pricing. But for larger scale customers, you would still benefit with the seven-year retention pricing at that higher volume. Once you've selected the pricing option, you go to the retention period that you want to configure for your event data store. So the retention period is basically how long you want to retain that event from the event time. And uh, not the event time, uh, it's very critical because we also allow um, you to ingest your historical CloudTrail logs into an event data store for quick analysis. So in that case, your log is probably a few months old and the retention period, how long you want to retain that event and analyze it in CloudTrail Lake basically starts from that event time. Maybe it was like two months old event. So just a quick thing you need to keep in mind when you define the retention period. So in this case, since I have selected the one year exchangeable retention pricing, the default is one year, but you can choose it for any custom option depending on your use case. Like for example, if I want to do an operational troubleshooting, maybe all I need is like six months, I can do that as well. Or I can go all the way up to like uh, 10 years. Any data ingested to CloudTree Lake is um, encrypted. And by default, it's using an AWS managed key, but you can also have a custom CMK to um, secure the encryption as well. Now, Lake Query Federation, yeah, that's exactly our zero ETL launch. So I will just say, yeah, the magic button is if you enable Lake Query Federation, the whole zero ETL analysis of the CloudTrail Lake data in um, uh, through Amazon Athena will work but I will hold back on this one till we uh, discuss further on what the launch is about. And Davin will be walking through an amazing demo of the same as well. So for here, I will just create a federation role since I need to go forward with the workflow, which were like all the permissions needed, everything cloud really is taking care of you. So now, since you have defined the retention period pricing option, it's time for you to choose what events you want to ingest into CloudTrail Lake. So you can choose AWS events as well as events from integration, which is basically the third party auditable activity events. So you can ingest the activity events from your custom app or from one of the uh, multiple partner solutions who are supporting, who are natively integrated with CloudTrail Lake to ingest uh, their activity logs into CloudTrail Lake. Under the, under the AWS events category, you can choose the CloudTrail management or data events, the CloudTrail insight events, or configuration items from AWS config, which basically captures your configuration and compliance history. So for the demo, I will go through CloudTrail events. Let's have both management events and data events selected. And here, I would also copy some of my historical CloudTrail logs from S3, uh, which is typically the use case when you really 
had some data in your uh, trail S3 bucket and you need to analyze it quickly now for some incident investigations. Uh, I can enable CloudTree Lake at, for all accounts in my organization. If I'm a management account or a delegated admin account for the organization, or I can enable it just for my own account, just to have my own account logs for operational troubleshooting type of requirements. So management events, I'm selecting all read and write events, data events, let's take um, S3. All S3 events are logged. And for copying the historical uh, CloudTree logs from S3 bucket, you can pick uh, the S3 bucket location and specify the time range for which you want to ingest the data. Let's say I want to ingest all the logs from October 4th to October 11th, which is when some um, incident happened. So I okay, would Gokul, I, I don't mean to interrupt. Uh, we've got about three minutes left. I, you know, you mentioned uh, Davin has uh, a demo right. too. So. Right, right, yes. So um, basically we go in and this is how you go ahead and create an event data store. So now once okay. you have created an event data store, what you do is to analyze. And that's where you run the SQL queries. So this is the native SQL query engine of CloudTrail Lake, which comes with uh, sample queries. I can just go and click on a sample query and the sample query will give me the result of the top API calls uh, by event name right away, right? So that's how fast it is without needing any data processing pipelines, you immediately get insights from CloudTrail Lake. And the, the last beautiful part is the dashboards as i mentioned the pre-curated dashboards so if you go to the dashboard columns you can have like for the management events you can get insights like what are the top access denied events top errors by users destructive actions who deleted your trails as an example all of this information is available for you without you needing to do anything no downstream workflows to be uh, created or even for s3 data events top users most access objects etc so that's how Play lake at a high level is. I love it. Look, there's there's too many features. There's too many features to to showcase in just this short amount of time. But we got to give uh, Davin his his chance as well. Yes. Yeah. So real quick. All right. Here's the story. I got a bucket with very important data in it, but someone deleted it overnight. So we're gonna use CloudTrail Federation to try and figure out who deleted it. So I already have an EDS that's logging uh, S3 data events that Goku showed uh, how to enable. Uh, I'm going to use an existing role that I already created for this demo. And it's just like that one click federation, no cost. Um, and you can actually see what we do behind the scenes is we create a database in glue in your account. So you can see it's AWS cloud trail, the table name, we have a table for each federated EDS. Uh, the name is going to be matching with the event data store ID. You can see the schema, which is the columns and the partitions, which we partition by calendar day. And you can use this in your query so you don't scan everything. Uh, you can also control permissions to who reads this table in lake formation. Let me just refresh. Uh, here we go. There's the table. And then uh, let me go to the query editor. So my first query I'm going to run, I'm just going to select some basic columns from my federated event data store. I'm just checking who deleted my object from my S3 VPC endpoint today. If I run this real quick, uh, we should we want to see who actually made the delete calls. And we'll see that uh, it was some role named hacker from, and we have the source IP addresses, uh, but these source IP addresses are actually useful to us because thankfully I had VPC flow logs enabled. And what these flow logs are, are they're logging every packet coming in and out of your VPC. So they'll know what the IP address is for the instance. And so the second query I'm gonna run is gonna be a join. This is the power of federation right here. You can join your CloudTrail data with other data sets that you might have. So I'm going to join on at IT address, and then I'm going to group by instance ID so I can actually get what instances call these delete object calls. And the fact that you're able to do this so quickly too, though, is impressive. Like you really had a couple minutes to do this, and it's only taking you literally like almost a minute. To yeah, get these this information out of this, so that's awesome. Yeah, these queries are taking really uh, quick. Um, so it looks like five instance IDs ran these uh, delete calls. I can run another query. So this is the same query I ran just right now. I'm going to run as a subquery store in temporary variable instance IDs. And I'm going to join that back with my federated event data store to find out who actually ran these instances. And while this is running, uh, 
because you can run Athena queries on your event data store, that means you can also run uh, other services for creating dashboards, reports, such as uh, QuickSight, Grafana. And I can showcase that real quick. Uh, so here's my- oh, uh, Unfortunately, Davin, we, we are out of time. We've got to, we got to wrap it up there. I think that's something that people should just go check out for themselves. It was yeah. very nice of that uh, person to label the role as hacker, uh, made it easier to find. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very nice of them, but uh, so much, so much to go check out with Cloud Trail Lake. Y'all have given us a uh, very tasty little introduction there. So everybody else go out and see what else is there uh, and how you can use it. But thank you both, Gokul and Davin, for joining us. Unfortunately, we got to run, um, but we hope thank to you. see you. Thank you. Thanks soon. a lot. And I hope all of you will try out Cloud Trail Lake. And you can see now the data silos are completely broken. Get your insights right away using the Federation. Awesome.